Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kenna and I'm Cameroonian YouTuber based in Douala, Cameroon. Okay, so today I'm doing a video request. I'm doing this video request from somebody really close to my heart and she said I should do a video on how to deal with breakups so today I'll be giving you like the do's and don'ts when you break up from a relationship so because a lot of us we do some things at times that later on we sit and we cry like oh my god what was I thinking like you look at it and you're like I must have been drunk like what was going through my mind so that's what we're talking about today so this video will obviously be in two parts the first part will be the do's and the second part will be about your don'ts for the do's the very first thing I'll tell you to do is when you're broken up it's okay for you to lean on your loved ones your family because those are the people that will remind you how special you are those are the people that will make you to forget about your pain just hang out with them sit with them have a good time with them they're going to make you forget all your sorrows don't break up and then you lock you up yourself somewhere and you're like i don't want to see anybody i don't want to talk with anybody i just want to be alone the second thing i'll tell you to do is cry if crying is what makes you feel better cry but don't overextend it there are some people that will mourn a relationship for one year two years you're not dating again you're not putting yourself out there you're just like no this my boyfriend broke my heart i'm not doing anything again i'll just sit here like no don't do that cry mourn grieve and then move on grieve for a reasonable amount of time and then you move on instead of you regretting like oh my god if i did this it wouldn't have happened if he did this it wouldn't have happened just take it like this is a learning experience what has happened has happened you cannot change the past you can only learn from the past so just be like okay this has, has happened i've learned this i've learned that and it's going to help me in the future because you trying to regret regrets cannot change what has happened crying over it thinking about it over and over saying that is this person's fault or that person's fault cannot change th the thing what has happened has happened so just deal with it and treat it like a learning experience just See all the beautiful things you have learned from it the hard way or the good way you have learned from it so just take it as a learning experience the next thing I'll tell you to do is just rediscover yourself a lot of us sometimes when we get into a relationship we lose ourselves along the way especially when it's a relationship that has lasted for so long sometimes when you're with somebody for so long you tend to forget certain things that you used to do because maybe you start following the things that the other person used to do so you lose yourself along the way so what you can do during this period of breakup is just rediscover yourself rediscover those things that you used to do that you like that you might have stopped in the course of the relationship just rediscover yourself be patient and i'm guilty of this one <laughs> Let me not go into details i'm guilty of impatience after breakup there are some people who cannot deal with who cannot be patient after breakup like that pain the only way they can handle that pain is to rebound like just move on to the next like on to the next so you don't want to be that person be patient when you break up with somebody don't just jump into the next relationship because you're scared of going through that pain of losing the person like no be very patient take your time and i'm not saying take five years ten years to deal with that breakup no but take your time don't just jump into a relationship get over that person that you are dating then you move on to the next like don't just jump like and they are dumping you today tomorrow you're like i'm replacing my i'm replacing you with the next person you think that you are the only man on earth like no don't do that the second part is the don'ts the first thing i'll tell you is do not i repeat do not have breakup sex your last sex or your breakup sex was the last time you had sex with your partner don't break up with somebody and as people are discussing the breakup you're talking about it like okay so i'm going to separate ways it's over and then the other person is like okay let's just have one last time let's just have sex for the last time like don't do it your last time sex was the last time you guys ever slept that is if you are in a sexual relationship with somebody because you having sex with that person is just you confusing things for no good reason so avoid doing that so many people are fond of this like when you're in a relationship with the person you grew close to their friends and family 
and then now you break up you go and start calling all their family members like that your brother eh? that your sister she did this she did this you know they try and all that like it is not necessary you don't have to do that stop talking bad about your ex-partner to his family members because guys it is his family they are his family or they are her family they are her friends at the end of the day no matter what you say when they go back to their brother their friend they are going to support him or her so just stop talking bad and they'll be like you have a bitter bitter ex you don't want to be the bitter ex so when you break up if you want to keep your relationship with your exes friends and family good and fine but he shouldn't be your subject of discussion you shouldn't go and start bad mouthing him to people like no don't do that don't pretend to be happy like somebody once said the second two people break up it becomes a competition on who is the happiest like stop trying to fake it if you're still not over the person it's okay not to be over him like take your time to move on don't sit and you're trying to fake oh my god i'm happy like some girls as they break up with you they start telling you i'm the ceo of happiness i'm so happy i have never been happier i'm a strong independent woman and all that it's not necessary who are you trying to convince if you're hurting it's okay to hurt it's okay especially if you have been with that person for long and you love the person it's okay that when you break up with somebody you hurt and you cry about it so stop trying to fake and pretend that oh my god i'm so happy when deep inside you know very well that you are hurting don't sit and think you think that you're going to drink all the alcohol in a bar and you take away your pain or you smoke all the cigarettes or you take all the banga that's marijuana and you feel better like we all know that you can't drink away your sorrows the sorrows go away just for like the few seconds that you're down the next morning when you get up everything is back looking at you in the face so don't do that it's not necessary like don't don't become an alcoholic because a girl left you or because a guy left you don't become a drug addict because somebody left you it is not worth it and then last but not least is don't move on quickly it's the same like patience don't run to the next available guy or girl just because you want to show that you're happy just because you don't want to deal with the pain and the hurt so guys that is how you can deal with a breakup those are the do's and the don'ts i know i can never cover everything as usual so just let me know what you think in the comment section if you have more to add to this let me know thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time love you bye